Hello from Bridgestone Arena. We're back home from our journey to Washington, D.C. And tonight we're at the Nashville Predators versus Calgary Flames game. Here's the deal. The Nashville Predators stink since winning in Washington, D.C. They went on to Ottawa and won, but then they lost three straight to Toronto, Montreal, and Buffalo. And here's the deal. When you lose three in a row, when the only thing you had to hang your hat on was games in hand, what ends up happening is you don't make the playoffs. The Calgary Flames went from being like making this game important tonight to making this game almost like Nashville needs to win it. But if they don't, Calgary's probably still okay. So we're gonna go check this thing out, head downstairs, get some food, and watch the game. Let's do this. We are back. I won't give you guys a full example of this tonight. Go watch the other Alexis Lange video. We have a tour of this place. I'll link that tour in the description below. All right, food has been consumed. I might grab a few desserts and head to the seats. Those Flames jerseys are beautiful. Let's go. Beautiful some jerseys. Let's see if the Flames dominate tonight. So Nashville has a, uh, a nice one to nothing lead here. A nice shot from Roman Yossi with a great keep in from Ryan McDonough. Then the Flamesies are on the power play. It's so bizarre because Nashville will insult them one week and then the next week they'll win every game. And so you really don't know who they are. But losing for Connor Bedard would be great. Getting the second period underway. Preds up two to nothing. Here we go, boys. Here we go. I forgot that Jonathan Huberto is on this team, and he's just been not great this year. The president of the Predators is literally sitting right there. Nice throws all the way around. We just had a windmill save by Markstrom, and it was incredible. So I'm running down to the Velocity Lounge trying to grab a coat. Heads are up 2 to 1 at the end of the second. I have a feeling the Flames are going to fight back, but Preds are looking good, honestly. Yeah, we're underway. Here we go. Third period. We'll see what happens. Will the Flames further secure their playoff spot? They're too talented to miss, honestly. All right, so Chino just flipped it over the glass. Which means we've got an internal five on three for the Calgary Flames. Yeah, got the clear. The juice is loose. Unbelievable goaltending. Let's go. And the Flames keep the Preds away. Hey, this game needs to be a regulation win for both these teams, honestly. They're reviewing the play. No, we don't want it to be you, idiot. No. <laughs> Are they saying the puck didn't fully cross the goal line? What are we looking at here? He definitely just kicked this. Yeah, that's not a goal. If they call that a goal, then the NHL is rigged. Here we go. What's the call? After video review, it's determined that the puck was kicking. Yeah! There we go! Yeah! Nicole Smith has back to the 70 box, but that's okay. Woo! He loves it! Cole Smith drives it in. This is a Finnish hockey team, and anytime they play music, they all start dancing. It is bizarre. They're with their kids. It's very funny to me. Meanwhile, the uh, Flames are on a power play. Nashville's clear. Come on, Calgary, are you trying to make the playoffs or not? We got a minute 40 left. A face off right here. And the Finns are loving it. The Finns are loving it. They finally put them on the screen. And then they're gone. Bad day. Oh, man. Good block scissors. Use. Oh, boy. 
boy. Fifteen seconds. I'd love to not have them have it in the zone. Oh, that's that's got to get out. Well, I am on my way home from the Nashville Predators game. They just beat the Calgary Flames, and I will tell you this, that's a big loss for the Calgary Flames. And here's a key part of this loss. It was in regulation. Now, Nashville probably isn't gonna make the playoffs. There's still several points out. Um, so Predators fans, if you're watching this, like, don't think that a win like this is gonna make the playoffs. If they, the Predators really need to win about 10 in a row against Western Conference opponents in order to get themselves into true playoff position. Is there for the next night against Columbus? It's two in a row, so, yeah. But Calgary, on the other hand, is in a weird spot where they could get bumped from the playoffs, but they also could start winning and be so securely in it wouldn't even be that close. Here's an interesting thing about the Calgary Flames. I wonder, and this is just something I wonder, I wonder if Daryl Sutter is good for that team. I watched them play and, and I think that, I just sat there and I thought tonight, wow, they have so much talent, but here's the deal, they're not dominate and I wonder if the players they have just don't match Daryl Sutter hockey I think Daryl Sutter is a great coach but I don't know that he's the coach of the Calgary Flames with how the Flames want to play to win right now I know tonight was a little bit of a different vlog and a lot more casual and chill but honestly that's how I kind of went to the game tonight and so I wanted to give you that experience that was a little bit different thank you so much for watching it means the world to me if you don't mind hitting the like button and the subscribe button that would mean so much to me and guess what if you enjoyed it please share it with a friend that would be awesome as well I'm constantly blown away by the fact that people watch these videos so thank you for being one of those people, and we will see you next time.